Hello, and welcome back to another episode. Today, I think what we're going to do is we're going to take some of these villagers over here. Yeah, or those guys right there. And we're going to build a house for them. And I think what we're going to do is we're going to build a tower right here. And I am tired, so very tired, of using iron tools. So it's time that we make some villagers, some librarians, out of the villagers. And we get some good enchantments so that we can turn our, our diamonds, these guys, into some useful tools. So, let me run over here and I will start building. This is the spot that I've picked out. I think what I want to do is I actually want to make this a circle. And I have some land that I will probably need to push back, lower, or maybe raise a little bit right there. So I have a little bit of terraforming to do before we even start with the building. So, uh, poof. So this is what I've got now that I've uh, cleared out some of that land and filled in a little bit of areas around. So now I think we can start on the actual build. I'm thinking of doing some stone bricks for the base. And I want it to be a circle. Oh, we're getting close to nighttime here, so let me let me do this quick. So I think what we need to do is we're gonna do six on this side. And we're gonna do six on this side. And then we're gonna come in here, we're gonna do three. Three, then we're gonna do one and two. And I'm gonna repeat that for the other sides. All right, so this is what it looks like so far. Just got the first layer down. Now I think I'm going to come in and let's see here. We want this to be our front, so this needs to be our door. So let's go up here. Grab some more stone bricks. Let's go up two. Let's go up one more. And I think. So that's going to be kind of our front. I think what we should do is come on to the back side here and. Go up one more there in the center. Yeah. And I suppose what we can do is we can come in here with some cracked stone bricks. And spread these out in here. It would look kind of cool to have cracked stone right on the, when we're walking through, have that be on the ground. Um, for the inside, I'm thinking oak logs. So let me, so I'm going to fill this entire thing in with oak logs and I'm probably, <laughs> what do you guys think? Go up, go up three on the sides here with stone bricks. Yeah. All right, I'm going to do this on all four sides. I'm going to sprinkle in some cracked stone bricks, too. So I will be back. So this is what we've got so far. We've got our walls in, we've got our floor in. Um, I think we're going to make this four high room in here. So our ceiling is going to be the next block up. So, I think what I want to do next is, let's put like a, a lip on top of the, the walls here. So I think I'm just going to do stairs. So I'm going to hop inside here. Climb up. Let's do something like stairs, stair. 
stare and stare. See how that kind of turns? I think that could look kind of nice. Um, what do we want to do here? Stare like that, and then run these all into each other. Something like that. Kind of looks like we're missing something. What do you guys think? What if we put stairs here on the ground, connect them all up together? Does that look a little better? That's a little better. I think we're still missing stuff. <laughs> All right, I've got an idea. All right, so here's my idea. I think what we're gonna do is let's put fence post, fence post, uh, put a fence post and a fence post. Maybe we can hang some lanterns from here. What do you guys think? Yay, nay? Hmm. I'm gonna put. I have an extra cracked, so I'm gonna put that in there. But I think, I think we are still, I don't know. I think we're still missing something. What if, what if we do something like this? If we take that out, we do Yeah, maybe, maybe. Hmm. What if we take this out? Do stare. Uh, can I get in here? Stare. Yeah. Hmm. I think we're still missing stuff. Let's. Take, oops, let's take these out. I need the tower up. What if we do something like this? All right. That looks a little better, don't you think, for just the, the first floor here? I think we're going to do another layer up top. So I think I want my floor to be wood again. So this is going to be the layer that the floor is on up top. Now I'm going to repeat this front here and the lanterns and fence posts all the way around. And I'll be back. And I'm, I'll do the crenellations on the top of the stairs as well. All right, so I added the fences around, the uh, lanterns around, I added the bottom stair on all of them, I put the stairs on the, the arches, I added the floor of the second floor uh, story. So I think what we need to do next is we need a way up to the second floor so we can start working up there. So I'm thinking stairs, oak stairs. Now, this is going to be our entrance here, and this is kind of towards the rest of our build, so this should probably be our main entrance. Let's do something like, I don't know, stair there, maybe? Is that far enough back from the entrance? Let's put it on the other side, actually. So that we're away from our temporary stairs there. Then let's just stair up. Stair up. We're not hitting the roof now, so this needs to go. That one needs to go. This will need to be pushed back a ways. Stair, 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 stair. So this one needs to be put back. All right. So now we have a way up to our second story. I can get rid of my temporary. Blocks there. 
me clean all of this up. So second story now. Let's think about what we want to do here. I'm kind of liking the, the sandstone that we put on the villager breeder, but let's do let's do cut sandstone instead of the regular sandstone. So I'm thinking something like here. I think I just need to outline this so that since this is going to be seen from the outside. So let me go all the way around my floor here, and I'm going to go. I think I'm going to go one higher as well, all the way around. So let me let me put in my second story uh, walls. And I'll be back. All right. Start to our second story is on there now. So I think what I want to do is I want to do like a window right here. Um... I want to do something a little different on like the corners or the side. These like three or four blocks right here. I want to do something a little bit different. Kind of leaning towards something like maybe walls. Let's actually grab 16 of these. Grab some walls. So, uh, hmm. how do I want to do this? Get rid of these. Put that back in. Where's my walls? There they are. Wall, wall, wall. We'll bring this up a ways. Yeah, and then let's do window here. I kind of like the idea of not using sandstone for the window. Not exactly sure why. I kind of like the, the contrast of colors. Yeah. Let's put a top on here now. I think we put a top of sandstone on the, the walls here. So, something like this maybe. Let's go take a look. Yeah, I like it. I like it. Hmm. Wild thought. What if... What if I remove these back blocks here? I think this one needs to stay. So I can't get out here. I can get out here, so this will need to go back in. So if I have villagers in here, they won't be able to get out from here. But I like the idea of being able to see inside. Hmm. Okay, yeah. I think I'm going to kind of copy this around. And I'll get back to you. Alright, so the second story is completed. So it looks like that now. Well, I guess we should say the walls are completed. I'm, I still need to do decorations and whatnot on the inside. And I'm kind of thinking I want a third story before I put a roof on it. But we'll we'll see. Um, so I guess the idea that I had is this room down here would be kind of the like a almost like a general entrance room or just kind of like a lobby. And then up here, we're gonna have a bunch of librarians around. I'm hoping I can get eight in. So I'm thinking one, two, three, four, and then one in each of the corners as well for eight. But I want more than eight librarians. So that's kind of why I'm thinking of a third story. So what can we do to make the transition from this up to a third story nice? Hmm. What kind of blocks can I make with this? Just slabs. All right. Well, I think I'm going to grab some more s regular sandstone because I think I want stairs. I think I have an idea for kind of a cool lip to go from the second to the third story up there. 
Do, do, do. All right, so I grabbed some sandstone. Um, I think I'm going to make a full half stack of sandstone stairs. Do I have? I do have some temporary blocks I can use to tower up. So let's do something like, oh, this is the front. Sandstone stairs. All right, what do you guys think? I did sandstone stair and then an upside down brick, stone brick stair. I think that could look kind of nice. And then I'll have the second, that, that third story be built mostly out of stone bricks again, like the, like the first uh, story. And I'll probably do the, the walls again. I kind of, I really kind of like that. Yeah. All right. I think that's what we're going to go with. So let me, let me, uh, throw in the, the floor and get the, get the transition up there kind of finished up. I've done a lot of the roof. As you see, I still need some more. And I think I still need a single stair on the outside. But I'm kind of thinking about how we need to get up to our top floor here. So we have stairs here. I don't think doing just another straight staircase up is going to work too well. Uh, we are one, two, three, four, five blocks up. And here we're only four. It'll take longer and we have less space. So I don't think that's going to work too well. So maybe what we do is like a spiral staircase up. So this one is here. So I'm going to need just a bunch of temporary blocks. So stair, temporary block. Stair, temporary block. So I'm just going to spiral up like this, I think. Oops. Stair, temporary block, oops, stair, temporary block, and I'm probably just going to run it out here. So now we're on the top. Cool. So I think that's what we're going to do for our staircase. All right, so I finished off the top layer now. So I think it's time to start our final story. I think what I might just do to start off is to kind of, I kind of like the idea of having some, I don't know, crenellations or kind of just break up the outline a little bit up here. So I think we'll start with that. Um, and then I'm thinking maybe like, well, okay. So if I'm in here and I'm trying to trade with, with, with librarians, let me think about spacing. Hmm. So I'm kind of thinking here, we'll, we'll do dirt. What if we do, what if we do this? So say gate here or something, and then they'll have say that much room. Gets a little tight up here. We might not be able to walk around the outside of this, but I think that's all right. So I'm thinking maybe, so if we're back in here and we're trading, I have like a little window behind the villager. And then we can kind of go from there. All right, so I've added in the windows all the way around. I think before we continue with the room, we should get any more items on the outside that we want done. So I'm thinking more walls here on these points all the way around. Thinking maybe like 
fences here and then maybe like here as well because we'll be able to fall off here if we wanted to a couple things i was thinking about is lighting i want to make sure that there isn't any yeah there's a bunch of places they can spawn up here so let's drop a bunch of lanterns around I'm gonna overdo it a little bit just because make it look nice. Oh no! I'm missing one. Alright, I need one more lantern. And this one in the wrong spot. It needs to be there. Alright. Um I'm thinking maybe. Not sure. Maybe brick, brick, brick. Something like that, and then go start going in already with stairs. Or I suppose I could do the same kind of lip that I did between the second and the third floors here. And then maybe maybe a sandstone dome or a roof maybe a spire i think maybe a dome would look better for a library all right so i grabbed some stairs and i think what i'm gonna do is do that same kind of um, stair design or the, the crenellations that i did for the top layers how am i going to make this work Something like this. Kind of like that. Let's do that. So, I'm stuck in here now. I think on each of the corner pieces. Let's do something like this. Do a stair stair facing that way. We'll do a stair facing in and a stair facing in. So we get this kind of look. And then we'll do a stair like that. All right, so this is kind of what I'm thinking of for the roof. Like this kind of this kind of look. I'm going to and I'll flip it upside down like I did for that layer there. And then I'm going to put the, the, uh, the roof up top. Or, actually, hmm. It might look pretty good with just throwing a sandstone dome up here. So, I think I might actually do that instead. So, it's getting to nighttime. I'm going to go sleep, and then I'll start on that. So I think what I want to do is I'm going to go one, two, three, four here, cover up all of that. And I'm going to do up to do in the middle. Uh, temporary blocks. I'm going to do this on all four sides like this. And we'll see if I have enough sandstone. I might not. I think I'll probably have to go and mine some more if I run out. Okay, so then now let's do sandstone here. Sandstone. Sandstone all the way around. And now I think we go up again. might have exactly the right amount of sandstone. Nice. Thinking something like that. I have finished the decorations on the inside and I think we're ready for a little tour. I added iron doors on the outside along with a couple of buttons to control them. Similar to the iron door over here on the villager breeder. I don't want any zombies to be able to break in and get at my librarians. Let's go inside. This is the lobby. I figure this is kind of like a nice little reception table. 
got a little table and like a little reading area and just kind of a nice area down here. And then up here is going to be where all of the all of the work gets done. I added a trap door here so that I can kind of walk around up here easier without uh, hitting my head, without falling down. And then I can still get up and down without hitting my head there. Um, the idea behind the signs is that I, I'll be able to mark uh, what trade the villager, the librarian is that's in this little area. And then I added some light to make sure that there's no spawnable areas in here. And then going up top, going up the spiral staircase. I added trapdoors here so that I can walk all the way around here and without falling down my stairs. And then again, I have the stair, the, the signs to indicate what, what trades the villagers running. I think this episode is going to be a little too long to bring our first village or first librarian in here, but we will do that next time. Um, I'm really, really wanting to get mending here pretty quick so that I can start running diamond tools without too much issue. So that is our librarian's tower. Thank you guys for watching, and uh, I hope you enjoy it. I'm uh, looking forward to being able to actually use some of the enchantments from the, the librarians in the tower that we built. So I will see you guys all next time.